Good morning. I'd, um, I'd like to read for you from um, our daily bread. These are the our daily bread devotionals that we get. They're at church or in the back. Um, you can order them directly and have them sent to you, or you can let me know and I'll give you some. I get some delivered. Today's daily bread message devotional is from uh, Sheridan Voicey. He's another Englishman. Sorry, he can't get away from us. Um, He's a great Christian. He's written some books. Uh, he works closely with Our Daily Bread and their uh, devotionals and videos and so on and so forth. And um, he's, he's a good man. Um, he's a romantic, and I like that. And today's devotional, he's quoting Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9 to 17. And he says, He will take a great delight in you, in his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. That's 17. And uh, Sheridan entitles this love song. Here we go. It's a quiet riverside park on a Sunday, Saturday afternoon. Joggers pass by, fishing rods whirl, seagulls fight over fish and chip wrappers, and my wife and I sit watching the couple. They are maybe in their late forties and are speaking in a language unknown to us. She sits gazing into his eyes while he, without a hint of self-consciousness, sings a love song to her in his own tongue, carried on by the breeze for us all to hear. This delightful act got me thinking about the book of Zephaniah. At first you might wonder why. In Zephaniah's day, God's people had become corrupt by bowing to false gods. That's in 1, 4 to 5. And Israel's prophets and priests were now arrogant and profane. That's in 3, 4. For much of the book, Zephaniah declares God's coming judgment on not just Israel, but all the nations of the earth. In verse 8. Yet Zephaniah foresees something else. Out of that dark day will emerge a people who wholeheartedly love God. Verses 9 to 13. To these people, God will be like a bridegroom who delights in his beloved. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Verse 17. Creator, Father, Warrior, Judge. Scripture uses many titles for God. But how many of us see God as a singer with a love song for us on his lips? That's by Sheridan Boise. And he questions this. How do you normally picture God as creator, father, warrior, or something else? How might your life change if you were to think of God as lover and yourself as his beloved? Great singer, I delight in your singing over me. Thank you for listening to me. Take care. Bye-bye.